What's up, gang? Time to light some sage. How much more do you want? You want to send us back to where we came from? Because we just savages. Well, here's my ass to kiss. Yeah, yeah. I made a gold mine, nigga. I go back home. I'm a gold mine, nigga. We're taking all the land back. They stole my nigga. Because what you reap now is what you sow, my nigga. Where you sow, my nigga. God damn. So, what I'm talking about today is being marginalized as a black person here in America. I'm sorry the camera's moving so much because it's following me now. Because I wanted to show y'all this ineligibility letters that I've been getting. So, now, I know you guys heard of Housing Connect, right? Kind of like luxury buildings, but they have um, the 80-20 rule, meaning like 20% of the residents should have a uh, low income as a prerequisite for the qualifications also um with these buildings what's happening is they're funneling us out you know so they they have these little tricks where they're saying yeah to um the building is going to be converted into like a senior center so that's no longer available we only have a studio apartment available or one bedroom depending on how they're trying to finesse they'll just give you like a, a unscrupulous reason um your income didn't match and the list goes on and on and i know some of you guys been getting a lot of these ineligibility letters please like share and subscribe in general if you like the video but also if you had these type of issues before please leave a comment as well because this is what's happening so now i've heard that um white residents of these buildings has been writing letters you know to hud um and all these other places housing connect and they've changed the rules for these people so what happened was now you see instead of it saying like twenty eight thousand dollars um to qualify which is low income you know or twenty four thousand even thirty thousand even forty five thousand you know low income these places got eighty thousand dollars um, I seen I seen even a hundred and like twelve thousand dollars, purposely writing us out instantly, and you know that that's happening um, because I'm sure you got a letter. So I wanted to talk about what's happening in regards with me. I have over forty, like I, I'm close to fifty right now ineligibility letters I actually got one this morning and I'll put it up just to show you that I actually got the letter this morning with the ineligibility I put it up on the screen and everything you'll see it you'll see it um, see you can't see it right now so if the, the camera follow me just a little bit you'll see that this right here is actually an ineligibility letter but you can't see it too much so I ain't tripping on it right now so let's go back come back over here with me all right so this ineligibility letter, and this would raise my flags, right? So they sent me this ineligibility letter, and I'm going to read it. It says, this is for 560 Winthrop Street, um, letter of interest. It says, dear applicant, thank you for your application for an apartment at CHV 560 Winthrop Street, LP. We are currently reviewing your application for the purpose of updating um, the waiting list system. A waiting list system, yeah. Um, if you if you're still interested in the residency at 560 Winthrop Street, please take a moment to answer the questions on page two of this letter. That's on the back. Feel free and to contact them. Do you want the number? Hold on. It's uh, 718-740-0416. Shout them out. Ask somebody acting crazy. So this is what they did. So. He said, if you do not, if that, if we don't hear from you within 10 days in bold from the letter of this date, your name will be removed from the list automatically. I knew they sent this letter late because I didn't even look at the date of the letter, but I knew it. But I thought it would be like a week later. You know what date they sent this? So today is the 30th of June. Remember, they said I had 10 dates from the date of the letter. This is, it says May 12th, 2020. But you see, right? What's going on 
is they're weeding us out by a lot of these fucked up methods. So they said I got 10 days from the date. So it's May 12th. They sent they they on this date. Now, check out the postmark date. The postmark date. I don't know if you can see this, but we'll try to do it. You see that? You see that? The 24th. It says the 24th of June. So that means they just sent the letter. And he sent it on a Thursday, knowing it would get here Friday. So Saturday and Sunday, I can't call them. And today's a Monday. Monday. So, you know, I'm not even going to call them because, you know, I know what's going on with the system. That's why I'm repatriating. Because... They have these rules and these things in place that purposely, systematically keep us out of um, these nice environments that we should be living in, you know? Um, I had another case where I was eligible for apartment in Manhattan. And what happened was the lady wound up quitting and then my paperwork fell away. It just got lost, you know. I had another one for 365 Bond Street. And uh, what happened with that, it was like they had me coming from Florida. The dude looked like he really didn't know his job, do his job. But I just, I, I just got like disinterested in like what, what they was doing and how they was doing it. Um, so with this whole housing connect, this low income stuff, they're not really for us. And when I say us is because the majority of us are in um, a the position where we're receiving low income, you know? So now they're weeding us out of these programs that they put here for us purposely to kind of mess us up, mess us over. And it sucks, and it sucks. So I just wanted to talk about that today. This is a short video, and um, I just wanted to let you guys know that um, you do have a place in Africa. Like, I know you got ineligibility letters. I, I get it all the time. You walk by all these luxury buildings that they're building up, and we can't even move in there. We can't even live in there. Do you know how that feels to walk by a building that is so nice and so beautiful, and you can't even live in there? I mean, it's kind of fucked up, you know what I mean? Knowing what your ancestors done did. So, I wanted to talk about that. A lot of these videos are going to have more solutions to the problems, you know. And if you know me, you know my solution to these problems here in the West is to repatriate back to Africa. You know, because there's no equal playing field here when it comes to anything there are so many systems in place and all of the systems are meant to keep you um marginalized i want to give a shout out to netflix right now for putting out um 13 on youtube as like almost a promotion if you don't have netflix it's free so look on youtube right now and look up for the movie 13 and it's a documentary about mass incarceration of melanated people and the unfair um, practices that they've been doing to get us in jail. With you know, like all of the just just flooding the the neighborhoods with drugs, um, fake crime, fake reporting, and you know, slave catcher shit. So um, stay to, tuned uh, to uh, what culture, what's hot and trending in culture, and. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll go from there and I'll put some content out for you guys that's pertaining to uh, that's going to help you make some better decisions in life and try to get out of this whole system of depression. All right? Peace.